What's up guys, it's Ben Quaddy here and welcome to another episode of my Sony Vegas tutorials and today I'm just gonna show you a quick method on how you can make your pen crop look better in Sony Vegas. This is the method I use, it's nothing special compared to the After Effects pen crop but um, yeah, it's just for Sony Vegas maybe it will help you but um, the thing is if you want to use this method you need to have the new blue FX um, pack for Sony Vegas. Uh, this is not a tutorial on how to get the new blue pack. I got it myself as well without help. So I'm sure if you uh, look it up on YouTube or on Google, you'll find a way on how to get it. Um, I will just show you how to do the pan crop um, effect. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, it's this kind of um, zoom in effect that pretty much every montage has nowadays. I already synced this clip right here um, to a song by We Are The MT, Save Me From The Dark. It's just a quick little crappy sync and that doesn't really matter. Th this video isn't about the syncing or anything. If you want to know on how I sync with Sony Vegas then check out the last video I made for these um, tutorials. It will be probably linked on the screen and it's also in the playlist this video is in. So let's get into this effect. So you pretty much go into new blue, you scroll down in your uh, video fix list and you go down to new blue active camera. And now you can just start off by putting reset to none. So what you see he here now is a way to make your camera move randomly um, around your footage. So for example, I, I give a few examples with these layers. If you turn this one up, the horizontal, um, and if you look at the preview screen now, you will see it. What the hell? Oh yeah, you have to turn up the rate as well, I think, so it works on the jitter. And now, yeah, now you can see that it moves from side to side horizontally. Obviously, that looks pretty crap now but it's just to explain to you what this actually does. And then the next thing is important that you put it onto your video layer because that makes um, the keyframing a lot easier. Yeah, so a few other things, the rotation, it's pretty obvious. And the crop is very important. This is um, basically just how far it is zoomed in and then you've also got hold which makes it less smooth or smoother when you've got it on O and blur that makes it very shaky if you've got these turned up as well and it looks like very very rough for example like uh, dirt road yeah you can see it right here here the blur is turned up very far and you can see how um, rough and blurry the edges of all the shapes look. So that's for the explanation. Now you can copy these settings right here. This is um, a setting that I use a lot. I also use it for the full tank team touch and, and I, I know it doesn't look very special compared to the pan crop you can do in After Effects but um, I hope this will help you in a way because it's the way I use my pan crops and uh, I'm happy with it. And just copy these settings. You can obviously play around with them and I've got a few other presets here but I'll just uh, make the story with this one and when you've got them copied I'll quickly play this clip right here for you to for you to understand what we're gonna do so that's the clip I was talking about synced and what we want to do is have uh, the pan crop zooming in after every shot and zooming out again until the next shot so we get a smooth uh, look for our montage and to do that you click on animate so you got the keyframing thing up then you can uh, zoom in right here with this plus button or you can just scroll in and go on your timeline, go shortly before you shot, like here, that's pretty good. And then 
you just type in 10 for example or 8 make sure you don't go down too far for example if you put 2 um, it might happen that you have like black edges on the ed uh, at the edge of the screen because it's shaking around um, might cause some problems that you can't zoom out too far so make sure you've got it at least on 8 or 10 and then you go forward a few frames you can also do that with this button right here next frame one two three four let's say we're gonna make it four and go into the crop option again and put it to like 25 you can also put 30 or 35 whatever you like I often use 25 so now you can already see if you scroll along this it zooms in for the shot and now you can just go on the next shot you can al you can always see it on the audio uh, audio layer right here where the next shot is um, you go a little bit into it and just press this button right here, add keyframe. Do that the same for the next shots. You can also add a little bit of rotation to make it look a bit more random I guess. And um, you can also play around with these layers of, of course. But in one clip or one edit, I wouldn't change these around too far, like have one shot like that and have one shot like that. Then it looks too random in my opinion, so um, don't mess, about, mess it up too much. And then when you've got that, you've got pretty much a zoom in keyframe for every shot now. You just have to go in front of them and go back to 8 or 10, whatever you like in front of every shot so that you've got this clip right here perfectly keyframed for the pan crop at the end when it fades uh, when it gets a bit slowed down for the clip to show up um, I would make the pan crop usually a bit sm uh, slower that means you go to the end and you turn it down not to 8 or to 10 you turn it to like 15 and that's basically all the effect. If you've got any questions, I'm gonna play it right here again so you see what I mean. Oh, that messed up. How did that happen? Probably because I, yeah, because I played around with the settings before it messed up right here. So you turn it back onto your preset setting. By the way, if you want to save these, if you've copy copied them and want to save it, press this right here, save preset, and then you can always go into your list and select it. Um, go back on it again and put it to 25. Usually you can also make it, for the last kill, you can make it zoom in a bit more to highlight it a bit, you could say. And yeah, that's basically about it. You can also make another zoom in in between the shots if the song suits it it would it would work here as well like here there's another drum drop and guitar drop so you could make a marker here and make another uh, zoom in but not as harsh as for the shot and then you got a pretty nice look to it this is not very much different from this pan crop option that a lot of people use but uh, this takes way longer in my opinion and it doesn't look as good as this active camera thing and you can do way more options than you can um, with this typical Sony Vegas pan crop in my opinion so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and if you've got any questions leave them down below and I'll make sure to answer them and thank you guys for watching tell me what you want to see next as a tutorial and I'll see you guys in the uh, next commentary with that sex German accent bye